Hello there, YouTube, Cody here again, checking out more of this disfigure prologue. So we did, what, twin katanas and shotgun last time. Let's try out the pistol. It doesn't have anything going for it, I guess, other than fire rate, it's like. Yeah, let's try that. I want to try, like, maybe something with, like, uh, flames or something like that. Oh, there's an auto fire thing. I didn't notice that last time. How long is the uh. The. How long is the little tutorial thing gonna stay up? Okay, it's not picking up my keyboards. Alright. So we did bleed last time with the katana. Gleam's cool. Fire rate seems good. Electricity was awesome. Ooh, radiation? What's radiation do? Do they have to be killed by the radiation? Doesn't look like it, but the damage goes way down. That seems kind of cool. Let's Let's do that. I wonder which one is going to be better. I think the the circle one will be better for that. Because it has that one upgrade that sends out like a pulse. Yeah, right? One of these? Yeah, though. Wow, we can make it bigger? Sounds kind of cool. And close down enemies. Yeah, we can try to go for like a like a like maybe just like a radiation vision thing. Be kind of cool. This little sound effect sounds pretty okay. The cone, right? Yes, yeah, so radiation cooldown seems fine. I definitely need to get that damage up, it looks like. Holstered radiation. What's damage is worse? Ooh, but that gets us into this though. Faster? That's probably what we want. So yeah, sure. Nice of the game to give us what we want. Should I try to do the build now where we just don't shoot anymore? Nah, I think it's a little that's a little a little too early for that. Well, we're not doing projectiles, right? Let's re-roll, I think. Ooh, burn is here, though. <laughs> so when it says damaging enemies, does it mean like the radiation can hurt them? But damaging enemies to inflict fire. Is that just in general? Or is that just, oh, it just increases it, okay. Let's see. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. That was a good choice. So now we can just rely on the cone to kill him. Let's see if we can do it. I don't know if it's going to work, but this seems like a fun strat already. Okay. Okay, radiation damage goes up. Even more fire stuff could be good. What's the end of this one? Radiation, more damage. Enemies killed by radiation, damage more enemies. Oof. We don't want gun. This is okay. I think we just want our damage up right now. 
I think you couldn't go wrong with either one of them, the burn or the fire one there. But I light the scorpion on fire. Ooh, that's probably what we want, right? I want that one too. Well, let's do that. So radiation damage goes way down. So it's only up 10%, right? Our movement speed, radiation cooldown. Oh, that way I can like chain. Oh, that's so cool. I'm loving this game already. Just the little different little combos and stuff. Okay, so that's cone vision. We don't really care about that. Radiation damage goes up. Yeah, let's do that. Let's keep going with our damage stuff. Oh no. Oh, shnikes, sh I lost a heart there. Oh, sure, we can take that, I guess. About okay, this is cool. It's very unique. Already, already like a completely different build from last time. Movement speed is 20% while circle is active. I think I want to do this. Yeah, let's get the shield bear. I already lost one heart, so you can start working on the um, you know. The next thing that we need. Oh nice, there's a heart over here. Let's go grab that. Oh, that was hilarious. I love that the each point of the centipede gives you a little XP. So explode into the project projectile of what killed them. We're not really doing project uh projectiles, so let's not do that. So this one has the Light magnet, right? We probably want that. Yeah, that sounds good. Gets us a little bit more pickup range and movement. It's kind of cool that all the damage sources stack together. Like you doing damage with the light counts with the burn and stuff. Vision size, we don't want movement speed. That's kind of cool because we're not going to be shooting. Uh, we don't really care about blaze again because we're not going to be shooting. Circle of light will freeze enemies every three seconds. That's not bad. I think I just want this though. Make it way bigger. Yeah, kind of lucky with the radiation rolls, though. Oh, every fifth shot, we're not shooting cone, we're not using pickup ranges. I think I have to go that way to get to light magnet, right? All right, let's take it. So once we get light, light magnet, we can just Basically everybody that we destroy will... Oh, I wonder how that works, because they they turn into a light source when they die, so does that mean they'll bring the... like, automatically I'll get the, ex the experience? I'm assuming that's how that works, right? Oh, no, let's reroll. Don't care about any of these. I mean, bleed's kind of cool. Projectiles and flick shots. So like electricity, it wouldn't work with that one. By twenty, killing three enemies, plays. That's plays, right? All right, I guess we do the movement speed thing. Oop. Lost my shield. Got a little too close. Oh no 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 no. I do like that it will like chain reaction them because like they become a light source. Okay. 
Doing all right. Probably want that. Every five seconds minute. Then we have a light that reels everything for an instant. Ooh. That's also what we want. That's a tough one. I think we do this just because it gives us more damage. Kind of a cool explosion. I like that. Whoa. Oh, yeah. It's like a whole build in itself. Just the... The radiation tree. The burn damage is doing something, I would assume, right? As far as damage output goes. Okay. No. Scorch, 50%. That one's cool. Does more fire damage, right? Ooh, inflict fire for two seconds after killing an enemy. Interesting. We'll explode into three flames that killed Enemies killed on fire will explode into three flames that... Hmm. I mean, that sounds cool. We might as well take that. This is the other tree we want, right? It's kind of our other damage source. So we'll get like two explosions eventually. We'll have the explosion from radiation and then they'll also, in theory, be on fire and shoot out uh, flames. If I'm reading that card right. <laughs> it's obliterated that whole part of the screen. Jeez, I thought my other- I thought that lightning build we had was OP. This one seems really good. Build boost, weapon stats, we're not using weapons. That's probably what we want. Ooh, XP attraction could be good to help us level up, but... We're kind of deleting a bunch of stuff all at once. Oh, the cone is huge. Look at how big it is. So like, does that wave going out just light, like, people off on fire off screen? Ooh, with that, that means I'll be able to pick up all the XP too, right? Interesting. Kind of weird being able to see this much of the map. Okay, shield boost, blaze, plus 50. Um, I don't want to get the XP one, so let's re-roll. Okay, this works too. It gets us even more damage, so. Oh yeah, there you go. There's the little flames. I do love seeing the little centipede just like burn itself out. It's like each each body part catches on fire. Okay, so just trying to make sure we pick up all this XP. Okay, I need that one right to get light magnet. Let's take that one, and then hopefully we get light magnet. And there's a heart there for when we need it. Seems pretty OP. I mean, yeah, we haven't had to shoot since like the first couple minutes, right? Okay, damaging, ooh. Okay, that one is good, but I would like to get, yeah, revealed in vision range, float toward the player from any range, absolutely. Oh my god, I thought those were bullets. I forget the bullets are all green. Okay, so it does not work with the, the one thing, but it looks like it works with the enemies that get killed. I mean, we might as well, right? We want the bigger range for our kills. 
Yeah, since they become light bombs, it looks like they like their XP automatically just gets attracted to me. That's what's up. Oh, since they're on fire, they always seem to die. Not exactly sure how it works, but it looks like I don't need to stay near them most of the time. Might as well, I feel like we're moving a little bit slow. Yeah, sure. The only other damage thing we're looking for is the burn one. I wonder if it's better if I stand still at this point. Like, I obviously have to dodge the the projectiles and stuff, but... Ooh. I was staring at the <laughs> centipede that was on fire. Fire rate's useless. Blaze is useless. We're not shooting. Eh, let's re-roll that one. There we go. Fire start is what we want, right? Bring it on, punks. A for effort, giant cockroaches. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, this is so silly. Okay, we got a heart above us. Probably just want to stay near that, I think. Alright, what do we got here? Shield boost. That's the shield again. Um, yeah, circle light freeze enemies. Oh, is that it triggering? Is the little snowflake around me? Oh, there's the final boss. Let's see how our build does against him. This game lets you get pretty overpowered for it being like a dark fantasy style thing. So when I destroy one of their limbs, is it gonna explode? Like how the other death stuff works. Oh, what the, what the? We still have our two hearts. Yeah, looks like we got rid of one, li one limb. There goes another one. So like we just got two left. It's the back ones. Cone we don't care about. All weapon stats, but I don't really care about weapons. More movement speed, though, sounds good. Right? I mean, bleed, bleed would probably be the smart choice, but let's see if we can win with just radiation and fire damage. Oh, come on. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. 
Alright, one limb left. Can't have that much health, it's the other back limb, right? Is he moving faster? Because I'm moving faster? It felt like he didn't slow down. It's probably for the best though, right? It'd be probably weird if the, um... Like, as you remove the legs, it did less damage. Well, that was fun. That was a fun little run. That was pretty cool. So yeah, I've been Cody. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Like it if you did. And uh, yeah, this is a disfigured prologue. Link's in the bio for the game. Or the description. The Steam link is in the description, is what I meant to say. But yeah, have a good day.